Hi everybody. Um, it is summertime. It is time for my top 15 fragrances for summer that I will be wearing personally uh, throughout the summertime. Now, I will say this. There are a couple heavier fragrances in this summer list because there's a few heavier fragrances that I really enjoy in the summer. I like what it does on my skin. So just know that, that this is, this is my fragrance list. This works for me. So um, definitely I hope you guys enjoy. And let's kick it off starting with number 15. Number 15 is a heavier fragrance. I guess it can be considered a little bit heavier um, for summer. And this is, of course, good old Green Irish Tweed. I love this fragrance in the summertime. It works well for a night out. Um, fantastic scent. You guys all know about Green Irish Tweed. It is definitely a um, one of those that turns heads. It's it's a great scent. You're going to smell crisp, clean, fresh. Definitely goes great with a suit. And that is number 15 on my summer list. Number 14 is one of my favorite designer fragrances of all time. And it works very well in the heat. This is Yves Saint Laurent Lum. Now Lum is a favorite of mine. You get the ginger apple combination. This works very well in summer and fall and spring. It works. It's actually a very good all around fragrance, but I love that one in the summertime. Number 13 is a fragrance that I don't think anybody's mentioned, but I gotta say, um, I blind bought this because, you know, I don't know, I just wanted to try it. A couple of my subscribers have been telling me for months and months and months, you gotta try this stuff. It's really good. You know, for a mall scent, it's really good. Um, so I blind bought it and off the website and I got it a couple weeks back and I was actually really impressed by it. Um, number 13 is Express Loyalty. Express Loyalty, yes. This is like a pineapple-y aquatic kind of smell. It smells very, very good. It's synthetic, but it gets the job done and it smells it's fruity, fun, and it gets the job done. It gets compliments. Um, if you're into the compliment sort of thing, psh, here you go. Uh, Express Loyalty, very good scent. Um, pineapple, mint kind of combination with an aquatic feel. That comes in at number 13. Uh, number 12 is a fragrance that I feel does not get enough attention in this community. Now, it's been said before that it's a great fragrance, but I will add to um, the list of people that think that this is a great fragrance. This is Sirius number seven. Sirius number seven has like a green Irish tweed meets um, kind of like a green tea vibe that I get with this one. Actually very much a green tea vibe. And I love green tea. I love the smell of green tea. Um, you know, it's kind of, I think it's more reminiscent to Shea Bond than it is green Irish tweed because I do get tea in this fragrance. Uh, so that's number 12. This is serious number seven. And number 11, this is a fragrance that I, you know, f for a while I was blind buying fragrances left and right for like the first year that I was doing reviews. And, you know, I kind of burned myself a couple times because I couldn't really afford doing that at the time. And um, I just kind of overlooked this fragrance completely because I got sick of kind of being let down. But a couple months ago, uh, a friend of mine, Creed, Creed Frags, he reviewed this fragrance, and I'm like, okay, it's time to go check this stuff out. So I did, I loved it, bought it, and this is 212, Carolina Herrera. This stuff is awesome. I've been wearing this a lot at work. It smells fantastic. I actually really, really like this fragrance. Um, I think it's fantastic. It's a musky, um, sort of grassy kind of smell. It smells Awesome, great for uh, spring and summer, summer list, obviously, and I'm really digging that scent. Okay, number 10. Number 10, you've seen my review on it. This is a projection beast. Projection beast as far as <clears throat> the summer fragrances go, and it's very unique. This is Byredo's Pulp. Pulp by Byredo. Yes, it's, uh, this is the fig uh, fragrance on my list. It was between this and Felosicos, but right now I'm liking this a little bit better than I'm liking Felosicos. So I went with this. 
and I mean you can't go wrong with pulp this is a very very good uh, projection beast type of summer fragrance that will last you a long time very good for a night out number nine I love this stuff love it and I mean I just I wear this all year all year long so um, really this could make it in my top ten you know most worn fragrances in my whole collection but it makes it at number nine in the summer list this is Chanel's Allure Homme Edition Blanche Edition Blanche right here you guys have already heard it this is you know vanilla pepper and um, lemon very very good fragrance I love that stuff it is magnificent it's not going anywhere I will always have a bottle of that great stuff number eight number eight is probably gonna be a little bit higher up on a lot of you uh, a lot of you guys out there on your lists that's okay it's number eight for me um, it's still at number eight oh, number eight is very good and this is Creed's Aventus now Aventus is a magnificent scent <laughs> <laughs> to be quite frank, um, pineapple, birch, and oh man, some wood, some leather, fantastic scent. Number eight. Number seven is another fragrance that I had to repurchase because I went through a whole bottle. I think this stuff's fantastic. Um, I do like this better than Chanel's Allure Homme Sport right now. Uh, Allure Homme Sport, a little too much powderiness for me so this one has been doing the trick they do smell similar but I do prefer this one right now this is Versace's signature or Versace Pour Homme I mean oh, I love this stuff um, just kind of a sportier version of Chanel Allure Homme Sport if that makes sense a little bit more airy um, very good very good fragrance and that makes it at my number seven spot Number six is an old favorite of mine. They reformulated it. No, they did not reformulate it. They changed the bottle, which I'm not too impressed with because I like the old bottle. And, you know, I finished the bottle, so I had to buy a new one. And this is what I get. <laughs> this is uh, Guerlain's Ohm. Yes, the mirrors, they don't make the mirror um, on the bottle anymore. I don't understand why, but whatever. This fragrance is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, I love mint-based fragrances, and this one is a mint fragrance that lasts just, just wonderful. I love that stuff. Drulon's Ohm coming in at number six. Okay, now we're down to number five, five to one here. This is the big, the big guns now. Um, number five is a two-way tie. Now I mentioned that there was going to be heavier fragrances in here. Green Irish Tweed was one of the heavier ones that uh, I was talking about. And this one's another one. This is a two-way tie. First here is uh, Frederick Mall's Musk Ravageur. Now, Musk Ravageur is not by any means a summer fragrance, but for some reason, I prefer this in the heat. And actually, what's funny is Miguel Yurizuka, he had mentioned to me about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago, might have been two years ago, he told me, because I mentioned that to him that I like this better than the heat, he said, yeah, I saw it in, I think it was GQ, he said that he saw it in GQ that um, Musk Ravageur is actually meant to be worn in the heat, that he read an article on it, so I thought that was like fascinating because the way it smells, you think that it isn't supposed to be in the heat, but actually like the way that it mixes with your, you know, your sweat and everything, it smells really, really good. Um, that's just my opinion, whatever. And it is tied with uh, Zerzhov's Uden. Yes, you guys know about this already. I don't know how many times I have to kind of mention this fragrance, but Zerzhov's Uden is at number five with Musk Ravageur. Number four is an old favorite of mine. Um, I, you know, jumped right on the bandwagon when this was first hyped way back when Miguel first mentioned this fragrance. I blind bought it and I love this fragrance. Okay, it's fantastic. This is uh, Frappin's Luminist. Oh, man. Man. You cannot go wrong with this stuff. Gin and tonic. Fascinating. Fascinating juice. Love this stuff. Love it. That is number four, Frappin's Luminist. 
Number three, um, this is like the epitome of water to me, okay? This smells like a watery, kind of sort of fruity, leafy, flowery fragrance, and it's like the epitome of hanging out on the wake or hanging out um, by a wake or by a pool or in a pool. It just reminds me of summer, plain and simple, and um, because of its transparency, even though this lasts, <clears throat> lasts and projects, it really, very much reminds me of a watery type fragrance. This is Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Now, oh man, I'm saying oh man a lot. <laughs> I love this fragrance. I have a review on this fragrance. Definitely go check that out. Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Number two um, has been my number two for two years now. And number one has been my number one for three years now. Um, there's no change at all. <laughs> so if you know me, you know already what number two and number one are going to be. Um, take a second to try and guess. Okay, number two. The best citrus, orange, whatever you want to call it, based fragrance I've ever tried, period. This is Frederick Malls. Bigarot Concentré. Review on this one too. Um, this is a unique citrus. It is orange, uh, kind of like a dirty vibe mixed with <clears throat> hay. And I love this fragrance when it's hot out. I just, just go look at the review. <laughs> and number one, this is <laughs> Really shouldn't come as any surprise. I love this fragrance. It's in, you know, my top five favorite fragrances of all time. And you absolutely cannot go wrong with a bottle of this for summer. You cannot. It's number one for me for a reason. This is Creed's Millicim Imperial. Love the juice. Um, what I will be wearing the most for summer. Now, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, definitely let me know down below what you're wearing, and um, I don't know, have a good summer. I hope you enjoyed my picks, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.